Welcome to the Humanities Team Podcast with me, Steve Farrell. Humanities Team is an international spiritual movement whose purpose is to communicate and demonstrate the timeless truth that we are all one, with the divine and all life, caring for each other and the world we share, so that people's actions reflect this profound understanding within our generation. We believe that living this truth is essential to resolving the most chronic and acute world challenges and vital to creating a flourishing world of peace, harmony, and happiness. We offer transformative education programs in personal and spiritual development, and we host an annual event called Global Oneness Day. Similar to Earth Day, which galvanized the global environmental movement, Global Oneness Day has become a catalyst for spiritual activism and an integral part of the present-day global oneness movement, which represents a profound new paradigm in human culture. Humanities Team is the only global nonprofit organization working in transformational education. Since we are a nonprofit, there is no focus on growing profits or satisfying shareholders, and 100% of all revenue goes toward our work supporting conscious evolution, planetary awakening, and flourishing at every level of life. If you'd like to learn more about us or want to support our mission directly through donation or volunteering some of your time, please visit us online at humanitiesteam.org. And lastly, if you enjoy this podcast, we'd be grateful if you'd leave us a review. Hey there, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening, good morning. We're uh, broadcasting all over the world. It's uh, it's Friday afternoon, 11 a.m. Pacific. We are here with you live. I'm Steve Farrell with Humanities Team. I'm coming to you from our studio in Boulder, Colorado. This is a live program. I'm with my guest on the screen. As you can see, this is Deborah Myers, who's coming also live from Sonoma County. Isn't she lucky? Up in uh, Northern California. Thank you for joining us. Great uh, to be here. We got in a real exciting program in store for you here today. Our theme is wellness from the inside out. And uh, this theme, of course, ties to our special guest that we're with here today. I'm going to introduce her now. Deborah Myers is an acupressurist and Jin Shen Yatsu practitioner who has been helping people feel healthier and more energized for years. She takes a holistic approach to wellness and teaches all age groups how to balance their energy. In her program, Wellness from the Inside Out on Humanity Stream, Deborah teaches you to develop a partnership with your body and engage with a daily practice of acupressure to relieve stress and boost your resilience. So, and couldn't we all use more of that? So, uh, again, uh, welcome to the program, Deborah. So wonderful to Thank have you, you with us here today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So, um, all right. Deborah, let's start with. Uh, just, you know, you're, you're, uh, Deborah is, uh, many of you may know her. She's been doing programs, uh, certainly in Northern California, but all over the world, actually, for a couple of years here. Uh, she was just telling me about a program she was doing for uh, people in the medical profession in Southern California, down in the San Diego area, uh, to just, uh, where, where she's teaching teachers how to work with their patients uh, with this whole theme of healing from the inside out. So, Deborah. How did you, uh, how did this journey begin for you and to, to come into this place that you are now uh, where you're helping people all over the world do this? Thank you. Um, great question. Um, I, I started studying this stuff called energy balancing back in the 70s when I was in college. That's dating me. And I was enthralled. I was um curious beyond measure and i took to it like a duck to water i am um, uh and yet it never entered my conscious thinking that i could do it for my livelihood i mean how can you so i did all sorts of other things for a long time and then 29 years ago i was in a really bad car accident and with multiple herniated discs lots of pain I refused surgery. I went searching for someone who could offer light, gentle touch because I knew that's all my body could handle and what it needed to receive. And as my body started healing and as I was doing my own self-help practice and my body healed and I was going, wow, a light bulb came on. 
just do it. Just do it. So at that point, I was actually an insurance and securities agent working as a regional rep for a big company. And I decided, okay, that's my next step. And I closed up my office, gave all my business away, laid off my employees and said, here we go. So I got certified as an acupressurist and continued my study of Jin Shin Jitsu, which is an ancient form of Japanese acupressure, as well as a lot of other modalities. And I just kept learning and experiencing. And now I've been in private practice for 27 years. And I can't imagine not offering what I do to my clients individually and in groups. From the get-go, uh, my clients were asking for self-help workshops because I was spending lots of time with them giving self-help instruction. And they said, well, you just teach workshop. So I created my first workshops. And from there, it just keeps expanding. And now it's I've always done a lot of virtual programs. And then, uh, as we all know, March 2020 hit, and that's all that was available. And I started doing more and more. And I have to tell you, Steve, I can't imagine not getting to be able to do what I get to do. And and that's why I've also created programs for kids in schools, because I love working with kids and teaching them what, what they can do for themselves and I love doing workplace wellness programs. Again, helping people discover who they are in their body. And then further, showing them how they can all work together in more partnership together as a team, which can happen when everyone studies at the same time. So anyway, that's what <laughs> it all happened. Fantastic. Wow. Uh, that is that is quite a story. We're refusing Western medicine to uh, go down this path of healing with the assistance of uh, people that would, would, that would use more gentle, maybe Eastern oriented uh, mm -hmm. processes. Uh, that is, that is right. quite a story. I've only heard of a couple of other people that have had this happen. And of course, boy, this was your mm -hmm. destiny, wasn't it? To, to oh. uh, develop this whole process yeah. and methodology around healing from the inside out. Exactly. Thank you. And um, in fact, we'll talk more about it, I'm sure. But in um, so 20 plus years ago, when I was first getting going, um, I wrote a nine step self help acupressure flow and started teaching it to all my clients. And I call it the daily clean your house flow. We'll talk more about that. <laughs> and um, it recognizes the body you walk around in is your house. And if you clean it out every day, you are ahead of the game. It's actually part of the program that uh, I have on Humanity's team platform, which excites me. And a few years back, I had a group of teachers who were clients and were uh, studying with me. And they were starting to use what I taught them in the classroom and saying, we wouldn't miss a day because we noticed such difference, not only individually, but as a group. We could just do a real program. So out of that, I created an animated video of that self-help acupressure flow. And classrooms are using it, teachers, parents. And uh, I feel very blessed and honored that I'm able to do this, not only for adults, but for the kids to show them how they can learn easy on and feel better in their bodies. Yeah, boy, and so important yeah. too in today's day and age where... Kids can eat uh, things in, uh, that are that are not healthy and and not you know we have a holistic practice that's just taking care of the whole body. This daily wellness uh, routine that you talk about, Deborah, um, can you talk a little bit about it and and differences uh, as you suggest them for adults versus kids? What's beautiful is there's really no difference. There's absolutely no difference. Whether I'm working with a, a very young child of three or four who's come to me uh, either in person or virtually who has learning challenges or uh, physical issues. By the way, I call things projects instead of problems because projects are a lot more fun to work with and have a beginning and an end. Yeah. That's the key to be in that space of knowingness, right? And um, so whether they're three, or actually I work with infants as well, or whether they're 93, 
it's the same technique. It's the same utilizing. The way I like seeing it is we all, go, all walk around with these things called fingertips 24-7. So make use of them. And that's what we get to do with self-help acupressure is lightly touching our body in, on certain energy balance points in conjunction helps the body experience balance, discover it and experience it. And once it experiences, it says, that's what I want to keep. And from there, it's continuing. It's the daily practice. Yeah. And we're going to watch this video clip here in just a little bit, uh, this three minute video okay. clip book which I know where, where you actually demonstrate this. Um, now, let me ask you this though. Um, one of the, We were chatting even before we came on the program about this holistic approach that you take. I shared that in your introduction too. Um, how do you, which of course that's addressing then the whole self, uh, body, mind, emotional self, spiritual mm -hmm. self. Um, mm -hmm. So do you, you get into this in your, uh, as you mentioned, you got this brand new program on the Humanity Stream platform. This, in fact, this video clip that we're gonna play comes from that, uh, uh, that program called Healing from the Inside Out. So you get into all of this of how we can nurture all parts of ourself so that it's a holistic practice, uh, not just some sort of single silver bullet thing that's going at one little dimension of our life. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and that's the key. Yeah, I start, I start every day doing this thing called the daily clean your house flow. And it, it gives me my platform. It's the foundation. And there's no such thing as too much self-help. <laughs> That's the thing to remember. So off and on throughout the day, doing the whole flow or steps in the flow is absolutely perfect. And then beyond that, in my workshops, I teach a whole range of energy tips for breath and digestion and vascular system, you name it, cognitive abilities. And the key is to use that in conjunction with everything else you do, with your, your food program, with exercise, with movement, with taking care of your body. The whole idea being is that when we prepare our bodies for what we're going to ask them to do and help them prepare for whatever might come at them, we're ahead of the game. So that's why I contend, if you will, that having a daily practice and something like the daily flow or whatever else you might do, utilizing it as meditation, allowing your body to experience breath, because when energy flows, breath flows, and when breath flows, energy flows, and then you're ahead of the game. <laughs> yes, and I love this acupressurist in uh, Shin, Yatsu, Jen Shen Yatsu practitioner. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but these, uh, I have looked at these practices and this gentle sort of touch um, as a healing modality, it just looks wonderful. I mean, who wouldn't want more of that in their life? Right? Exactly, let's face it that most of us at some time or another are hungry for touch. And to even give yourself touch gives the body that sense of, oh my gosh, you're taking care of me. Because what we do for ourselves when we're energetically balanced, it give a message to the whole being that you're taking care, that, you know, she's taking care of me. I'm going to take care of you. So it's literally creating a game, if you will, a playground of reciprocity where the body recognizes energy balancing is taking place physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And then the body says, now I'll take care of you. And all of a sudden they merge and it's this beautiful, beautiful partnership. Let's face it. The, the one being you are going to have the longest relationship with is yourself. And if we find a way to, to foster that, to make that more and more available as a true full-blown partnership, we are so taking care of self and then we take care of others. But you can't take care of others and be there for anybody else and take, you first take care of yourself. Yeah, <laughs> amen to that. And this is part of yeah. conscious living. Yeah, it's all 
It, yes, it's an, exactly. It's, a, it's, over, it's an overflow of taking care of others from taking good care of ourselves. And so, exactly. which is why some people actually spend their whole life. Uh, uh, Miss Hay, uh, before she passed, uh, yes. Louise Hay, her whole thing was just taking good care of yourself because there's so many that, that don't do that well or want to go start kind of taking care of others and then we become depleted. And so, uh, yeah. so important. Well, let's cut over, let's go take a look at this uh, video I here and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Okay. Think this way if you can, and I know you can, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here listening. When your body is in that state of balance and harmony, and it can get messages, that is your opportunity to be available, to be listening. What is my body telling me right now? So it's about recognition, acknowledging, and then being able to go forward with it. So the minute you get a message and you take care of it, guess what? You have just picked up on the opportunity that you don't have to have a project. You get to live in a body that's happy and comfortable. So here we go. The very first step of the daily flow is to give yourself a hug. Light, gentle touch anywhere from your elbow to your shoulder, wherever your fingertips land. That's the other piece. There is no wrong because there's no right. Imagine that. You get to kick perfectionism right out the window. There's no place for that in this it's called self-help acupressure. So holding with light, gentle touch for a couple good breaths. And when you're here, anywhere from your elbow on up, you're connecting with energy balance points that are about breath. They connect with lungs. They connect with diaphragm. They're also connecting with energy balance points that are all about taking care of yourself, loving yourself, giving a message to your body that you love it so much you are taking time to give it health and wisdom and joy. So holding here brings your body right to that place of going, wow. She's really taking care of me. Wow. How can he be so on it that I'm getting the message that it's about the letting go? And you hold each one for a couple good breaths. Doesn't that feel good? Beautiful. You can do this with, off and on throughout the day all by itself. The next step from there is to sit on your hands or hold your sit bone area. And by the way, you can do all of this sitting, standing, lying down, or any combination. As soon as you are holding that area of your sit bones, you're connecting with an energy balance point. That's all about vitality. So if this brought breath into the body, this brings it to every cell of your being. Do you also notice if you're seated there, and I hope you are, and you're doing that, point, holding that area, that your body immediately went into a lumbar curve, that energy balance area is all about good posture, about alignment, giving your body the opportunity to feel that it can easily move forward. Okay, a beautiful clip. Now, uh, let me come back to Deborah just to talk about her amazing program in this clip. Uh, so that was a fantastic clip. I love, you know, where you say let perfectionism, hey, boom, let's a helium balloon. Let's let that one go. We don't need to Out talk, you know, we don't, this is not about perfectionism, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the beauty of learning um, a technique like this, if you will, is because you just, you, like I said, you walk around with these things called fingertips. So make use of them. Access the energy in your body by light, gentle touch. Hold a specific point or combination of points for a couple good breaths, and the body gets the message. And that's why it's so beautiful for kids. They don't have to understand why it's working. It just does. And that's why it works so beautifully for the elderly as well. Um, because many times 
their learning challenges are such that they may not quite get the steps, but my goodness, when I go into um, a life care facility and I've taught them, this is a few years, of course, before the pandemic, but I would teach them as a group and then go back a few weeks later and invariably this whole group would be sitting there and they go, oh, it's Deborah," And they'd immediately give themselves a hug because <laughs> they knew what it would do. And because they've been practicing because it felt so good. Did they fully understand? Does it matter? It just matters <laughs> to take taking care of yourself and doing something without effort. The key is without effort. Oh, I love your I love your teachings, Deborah. Fantastic. Thank you. And we have a lot of questions actually coming in here. So let's get to some of them. So um, one of them, it says, uh, uh, so this is from uh, Facebook and Vimeo comments, actually. One of them is says, Deborah's Wellness Facebook page. Oh, so that, it's coming from your page, this one. It says, and her name is Cindy, C-Y-N-D-I. She says, how does doing self-help acupressure help with emotions and feelings during the holidays? Wow. Good question. Because <laughs> guess what we're in the midst of right now, right? Yeah. 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 Um, well, as we all know, sometimes feelings and emotions can be pretty strong and can, if they're really strong, they can even take our breath away, right? Or cause us to get caught up in a way of feeling that makes us feel like we are not going where we need to go. And you may notice that if you are planning, for instance, a holiday gathering with family and friends, and maybe there's a few folks who are going to show up and you're Sometimes there's a little bit of awareness that it's not always an easy time. Well, you prepare your body. You give yourself a hug. You give yourself a vitality and experience the joy of the movement of energy. Experience breath. And when your body is in that space, you can start listening and being with others and help the experience of relationship. So yes, this is relationship with self. It is shared when we express it with others. And you know what, that, I, I, there's that, so many things that I love about this, Deborah. but as you know, I, so I talk about conscious living, uh, but what you're, mm -hmm. what you're talking about is when, we, when people say, well, what is conscious living, you know? Well, <laughs> It's this prosperity that you're talking about, you know, where we're just, where, where we're not, the whole, that old American dream thing is so far gone, you know? It's, it's yeah. like, it's just opening up to who we really are and taking beautiful care of ourselves. And, and uh, we were talking earlier uh, as we came on the program about even just staying in flow where you're just in this place, you're not necessarily in your mind, uh, you're more mm -hmm. in your feeling self uh, in this connection right. state with uh, yes. the cosmos or divine, each other and so on. And then doing these nice things for ourselves that create this, right. uh, this, this, this sense of real prosperity, a real health and well-being, huh? Yeah, it's creating abundance within the environment you walk around it. And it's, as we all know, is that when you exude, each of us exude that space of awareness and consciousness, we are showing the universe what we wanna receive. We're showing the divine what we want to receive. So if we're walking around in a state of balance and harmony, we will more easily draw to us what we want to receive. Abundance, prosperity, health, wellness, and a sense of taking care of self and being with self. And imagine living in a body like that. It's going to be trickier for that body to experience anxiety, fear, frustration, even sadness. It says, I don't have to go there. I know how to live differently. Yeah, amen. Yeah. And living differently, you know, in this positive way, in this holistic way, and yes. where uh, we're yes. just really taking good care of ourselves and others. And this is, this is, boy, when we talk about conscious living pervasive worldwide by 2040, hey, this is it. <laughs> this is what we are talking about. Where, and that's you know, why we I really love have our with kids. Yeah. yeah, when we are teaching this to the children in our lives, imagine what we are bringing them as our next generation, right? And yeah. following generation. 
and it can only create more and more momentum with that. And that's why I love what you are doing, what humanity's team is doing in the world. It just makes my heart be thrilled. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm back at you, Deborah, and kids too. You know, I have two teenagers, uh, and so iPhones and uh, other all kinds of virtual media and things can be a real, you know, more than distraction. So where you're bringing in this whole process of daily house cleaning and holistic living and so on. Wow, I mean, talking about something that's important for this generation yeah. that's coming up, unbelievably important. It's, it is so beautiful to be able to bring something like easy way to take care of ourselves. When a nine-year-old tells me um, that the reason he does the daily clean your house flow is because he's getting better grades because he's studying easier. He's not sick anymore because so he's not missing any school. He's um, getting along better with his brother. And then he says, now that's crazy. And he's playing mm -hmm. a better game of soccer. So why wouldn't he do it? I mean, hello out of the out of the mouth of a babe. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. uh, man. Now, um, you have we were again talking earlier. There's a video you've created on this daily house cleaning flow. We don't actually have that right at the moment, ready to come on camera. But is there anything short and experiential that you do, uh, Deborah? And I don't mean to put you on the spot, but that um, kind of brings in some of what the focus is here. By all means, just like you know that first step that we showed, give yourself a hug, right? Yeah. And then the next step was sit on your hands. It brings it to every cell of your being. That breath, that energy flow. One of the pieces that is really, really powerful um, for assisting clarity and focus, and let's face it, that this time of year, that's a pretty big one to have. So we can stay in that place of taking care of self and yet being there for others, especially family and friends. It's the holidays. We want to be there, right? And one of the best things you can do is in being in breath and clarity and focus and I want you to just experience, if you would, please, is directly underneath your collarbones. Bring your hands right underneath very gently. And as your hands come to the breastplate, you feel that triangular indentation right there? Yeah. So that's right where the first rib and collarbones come together. Choose a hand to cup the sternum right there. Doesn't matter which hand. Can't be right because there's no wrong. Can't be wrong because there's no right. Light, gentle touch. And just hold, just hold. And then with your other hand, hold the base of your sternum. I'm going to move my camera for just a minute. So you're about right here, right at the base of the sternum. And that connects with breath, with diaphragm, with the spaciousness of ease. And it drops all the tension in your jaw and your throat, throat and your neck. And then from the base of the sternum, bring your hand down to your tummy. And just hold there. And it drops all the tension. All the space is created and remains. And then it's just a matter of occasionally reminding your body how to rediscover that. When I do my energy work, and it's wrong, work is really a wrong word because it's really not work, it's being. When you are in that space, what I tell my body is I love being in, I love you being in flow. I don't expect you to be getting stuck. I just want you to be in flow. And that's what it's all about. That little practice, by the way, works so well that it can even work in the dentist chair. If it can work with people who have anxiety in the dental chair, imagine what it can do with any moment of your day. Yeah, boy, no kidding. And you're right, a dental chair, that puts us to the test, <laughs> right? <laughs> especially if you're having a, a procedure, a cavity exactly. a filling or a crown yeah. or something. So boy, right. that that really, that's Place perfect. your hand here and place your hand here and just stay in the moment. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Well, uh, we've got questions pouring in here. So I'll get to okay. a few others here, Deborah. So, uh, okay. so this one is from uh, uh, Jew Terry, who says, thank you for the exercises in the clip. What are the self acupressure points for eye health, uh, interesting points for eye health. 
I love the question. Um, so one of the best things you can do for yourself is to hold the base of your skull. Fingertips on the right and left side, very light, gentle touch right behind your ears or in towards your spinal column, wherever your fingertips want to land, because your body will tell you. Again, light, gentle touch. See where you are. You're right in line with the space. Now, the next step I want to do is continuing to hold here. I'm going to mirror and go like so, and then have your other hand hold your forehead like so. That is a very simple acupressure step that connects with eye health, vision, works so well it even helps you see the truth and then be able to express the truth. Go figure, right? And you only have to do one side for it to work, but why not do both sides and just cross? Another one that works really well for reading, for studying, for finding the space is to cup that base of the skull and hold your forehead. And there you are really connecting with memory, with clarity, with focus. Guess what? With consciousness and awareness and with vision. And in the um, Wellness from the Inside Out program, you will have in, I believe it's module two, where there's an actual acupressure flow that connects with head, head points, base points, helps with head pressure, sinus congestion, head aches, vision issues. Check it out. And in fact, in my program, there's also a handout, a workbook that you can download and have it all printed out for you. Okay, and this program, of course, we're referencing is Healing from the Inside Out. It's on the Humanity Wellness Stream from Plus. The Plus. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's okay. from, it's one of the from same the inside thing. Out. And you'll yeah. see, uh, you'll see Deborah's smiling face right there uh, with with this uh, Wellness from the Inside Out online program. It's one of the newest programs on the platform, humanitiesteam.org forward slash stream. You'll uh, be, do go check that out. You'll uh, love this program. Uh, so also I want to share, we're now in the second part of the hour. So if there are Humanity Stream members here uh, and you want to come on camera, we're set up to bring you on camera so you can, uh, Deborah can actually see you and you can see her. Or uh, we've got lots of comments that are just flooding in here. We'll get to the comments on the screen uh, if, yeah. un unless somebody wants to come on screen and, uh, and talk, which we welcome. So here's another question. This is from Sandy, and she says, how would this exercise benefit cancer patients? Ah, oh, great question. The beauty is that no matter what project the body has, physically, mentally, emotionally, utilizing self-help acupressure can assist your body to find balance and harmony because it will connect with immune, endocrine, adrenal, lymphatic systems. So imagine that if you are um, walking around with, in a body that has that project, it's working pretty darn hard most of the time to find that balance with immune and adrenals and endocrine, right? So what for those of you who have that type of project, but guess what? Any type of project, or you just want to help your body feel that space of, I've, I've got you. The immune system gets the message that, hey, you are taking care of me. May I show you one? Hold the top inside corners of your shoulder blades right there, right where the shoulder, and, and have your fingertips go right into that valley that's between your shoulder blade and your spinal column. And guess what? It wants to be a valley. Sometimes it's kind of firm and tight and from stress and holding on to so much blocked energy. And holding this space connects directly with the immune system. It's an energy balance point that is the doorway to access, access all possibilities, all probabilities, and access understanding. Go figure. Oh, boy, that feels good too, huh? Feeling those, uh, nice? those valley points as you call them back, right back there. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And then the yeah. next one would be to continue, keep holding one 
and bring your hand to the opposite chest, your chest like so. And now that brings the immune system booster directly into every cell of your being. And it works nice. so well, it helps filter out bad air. So isn't that what we're all trying to do right now is filter out a lot of bad air? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no kidding. So yeah, we don't have to go buy expensive filters either, huh? <laughs> right. Help. Well, there's still a reason to have some things in place because we have to be proactive. And there's times where we can help our bodies in the instant feel the spaciousness it wants to receive. The thing to remember is the body wants to feel balance and harmony. It wants to feel that. It makes it happy. It makes it joyous. And when we can bring that to our bodies consistently, the body will take good care of you. Yeah, that's the so invitation in life, actually, isn't it? Answer. So, yeah, yeah. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, okay. fantastic, wonderful. Um, okay, let me. Here's here's a question from Marie. She says, "What if I have uh, COPD? Will this program help me with my breathing?" Yes. In fact, the whole first module and second module are a lot about breath. When the energy is flowing, the breath follows. When the breath is flowing, the energy follows. So there are some specific steps that I give, not only in the daily flow, but as an adjunct to be able to assist the body to be in breath. So this one that we just did will help with breath. And isn't it interesting that you're on the top side, back top side of the lung and the front top side of the lung, right and left, both top. Then the next step could easily be to connect the two, right? So as we want to help with breath, a really, really good one to do and super simple is to make a wing with your fingertips right here right at the base of the rib cage, and then bring your other hand in that same spot, right underneath the collarbone. So now you are on the same side, top and bottom of the lung. And with light, gentle touch, it gives the message to the body to be in breath and then to help the body assimilate it. Because that's what this energy balance point right there is all about assimilation and sustenance. And isn't that what this is all about? Isn't that what our bodies want is to feel like they are being sustained? Yeah. So we can be there in whichever way we want to be, to be all who we want to be, to become who we want to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Invitation is to live joyously. Just uh, right here, right, right. now. Uh, our exactly. weather in Boulder is just gorgeous. It's like the Bahamas or something, which is a little scary actually, because it's this La Nina thing has got this warm weather uh, over yeah. much of the country. We've got just incredible weather here. It's gorgeous, but uh, and putting aside the La Nina effect, just to really be here now and uh, really enjoy yeah. the day and our be feeling good in our body, and which is again why I love this program so much of yours. It's called Wellness from the Inside Out. Wellness from the Inside Out, Deborah Myers. Uh, fantastic. So let me get to some other questions here. Um, so uh, Jim asks the question, he says, how long is the workout? My problem is time. It sounds like any time, even at my desk. Exactly. So I have the animated video, for instance, of the, cell, of the daily clean your house flow is only six and a half minutes. That's all it needs. You can make it longer. I have clients and students who make, who spend 10, 15, 20 minutes because it becomes their meditation. They literally create affirmations to go along with each of the nine steps, which is beautiful. And if you only have a couple minutes, do whatever you can. And once you have your foundation in place. I start every day doing the daily clean your house flow. I can't imagine not doing it. I usually end every day doing it. And off and on throughout the day, while you're sitting at your desk, you sit on your hands. It immediately puts you into good posture. If you're looking for some clarity and focus about something, 
how many seconds does it take to have your hands come up to here, to the base of your skull and say, huh, that feels good. Yeah. Or you get that space of knowing that your body's getting a little tired, but you need some juice. You need that boost. Well, give yourself a boost. And at the same time, you're working with your immune system. And then decide, hmm, I think I'll need a little bit more. Now I'm going to sit back on my hands. And that brings it to every cell of your being because it cre creates vitality throughout. What did I just do? I don't know, less than a minute. That's all it took. <laughs> And all these practices, again, as Deborah's mentioning, these are in her Wellness from the Inside Out uh, online program. It's one of our newest uh, programs that we love on this Humanity Stream Plus platform. So uh, do check it out. I know it could be a little bit of a fire hose because Deborah's going over so many things, acupressure points. And uh, so if, mm -hmm. if uh, any of it's getting lost, just go check out the program and then you can watch Please it. Uh, there actually are hundreds of programs. It's unlocked. You can watch uh, watch it all day long uh, in front of whatever uh, on television, on Apple TV, on your computer, however you however you like uh, wow. taking in your transformational education. But do check out Deborah's program. This is boy in today's uh, with with where we still have COVID going on and things to uh, bring these practices into our daily living, where we exactly. uh, create wellness from the inside out. Is 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 this? Uh, an invitation or what? Yeah, so, and that's another reason why I love doing workplace wellness programs because then it's really bringing it into to businesses, to organizations, to the teams that work together. So everyone benefits and um, just finding ways to share this information is makes makes my heart float. Mine too. I'm right there with you, yeah. Deborah. So here's some more questions. Uh, so, so Mary Ann says, I suffer from depression. Can this process help me? Totally, Mary Ann. Um, there's a step, one of the best things you can do for yourself, in my opinion, to help your body recognize the possibilities of what I'm talking about. The last step, the ninth step of the daily clean your house flow is called jumper cabling. And it's just simply cupping each thumb and finger one at a time. And you can have your hands in your lap while you're doing this, but I'm showing you now. You cup a thumb, start with a thumb, couple good breaths, and then do the index finger. And then after a few moments, you hold the middle finger and you do each thumb and finger on the first hand and then go to the second hand. And what that does is help to balance all the energy that is entering and exiting your body. And it's also helping to balance all emotions. Depression usually comes from a, the body being in a state of feeling like it's not able to handle whatever it's trying to handle. So it's in a state of efforting more often than not. Sometimes there's a state of a sense of, of fear that's hanging out at kind of the ground level that brings on the depression or sadness could be one of anything, right? Or a combination. The beauty is that when you jumper cable, you're helping to get rid of worry fast. You get rid of worry, F-A-S-T. Cup each thumb and finger and you help get rid of worry. F is fear. A is anger. Little did the Japanese know we'd be holding our middle fingers up in anger. The S is sadness or grief. And the T is the trying too hard, trying too much, trying to do it all. The place of efforting. Yeah, Deborah, I can't, I just keep thinking back to the story that you shared as we began this program that you were in another industry and then uh, you had this accident and then uh, you decided to go down this path of uh, self-healing and wellness uh, that led you into the expertise that you have that you've now made your profession where you're helping people all over the world and it it just feels like like you were maybe born into the world with a purpose here <laughs> I mean I just can't imagine oh that was some God. random thing that just happened <laughs> thank, you. thank I appreciate that coming from you a lot thank you so much and yes I do feel like I when I stepped into it, when the light bulb really came on, it was that aha of, oh my God, you are now 
literally li living the world as you were supposed to. And by the way, I know we're running out of time, but 17, how many years ago? It was in 2015. I was in another really bad car accident. I was on the freeway. I was rear-ended. It totaled my car. Mm -hmm. I did really well for the first year and I was healing. And then I started having some major flare-ups and my healthcare team all really holistically minded said, we need to check into this again. I'd already had MRIs. We redid it. There was a reason for the flare up at three different surgeon evaluations. And I ended up having surgery that time. And I did my energy work and I received. And long and short of it is at the six week mark, I'm still in my brace. And my surgeon says, now tell me what you really do. Because <laughs> you have healed so quickly and so e seemingly easily with so much movement, what are you doing? And that came from a orthopedic surgeon. And because he noticed how different it was. And that's the goal, folks, is to be able to walk around in a body that when you take care of it, it can heal. Even when we do have projects, the body says, I want to let go of that old stuff. I want to find a new way of being. I want to be healthy and vibrant. I want to have, I want to have clarity and focus. I want to be able to digest well. I want to live joyfully. Whatever you and your body are searching for, it is possible when you take care of yourself energetically. Whatever you decide to utilize for your platform to do that. You know, I find that this is a super easy kind of a super easy way to be with your body and not have to be complete studying it. Though, of course, I love teaching workshops, so I'm continuing to teach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, Deborah, thank you so much for being with us during the hour. I told you this hour was going to go fast. Here, here we are. Oh, my goodness. At the end of the hour, Deborah Myers and Wellness from the Inside mm. Out. If you'd like to receive all of our new podcast episodes, please click on the subscribe button. To find out more about Humanities Team transformational education programs and about how you can help support our mission, please visit us online at humanitiesteam.org, where you can also sign up for our email list so we can let you know about our free online events and other news about what we're up to each week. And again, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review. Thank you.